Hello, welcome to the world of VCV Rec. Uh, so for this first uh, demo, I want to show a few of the fundamental modules. Uh, so we can see, I've got all these other uh, brands here also, but if we just look at VCV, um, some of the standard modules here. Okay, here we go. Um, that uh, for anyone that's starting out, uh, this is important to kind of just understand these fundamentals and then we can start diving into some of the other more complex ones. Uh, so just like other kind of node-based um, programs like you know Touch Designer that we've been working in, um, modular synths work um, basically like having different, different kind of modules that you string together with uh, patch cables. Um, the difference with this being, so this, the, the main metaphor is, is essentially about voltage, right? Um, and the voltage is all just electricity uh, as far as the hardware stuff goes, uh, but it can be used for different things like as audio rate, as a clock signal, as uh, control voltage, uh, all these various ways that we can use it. Uh, and that's kind of what these different modules, um, they kind of like do different things with that. So let's just show how to start stringing something together to get some sound. So I kind of laid out um, some of these fundamental modules here. Um, so we'll start with just a, a VCO. This is a voltage controlled oscillator. Uh, this is a standard uh, voice this is what's actually gonna make some sound. And uh, so maybe even just getting rid of these other things, all right, we can just focus just on these two for now. Uh, this palette uh, is by uh, Count Modula, it's, it's another maker. I had kind of snuck it in here just so I could uh, control more easily the color of my patch cable. Um, it's totally arbitrary, but maybe just to, for showing the different purposes that we use uh, this voltage for um, might be better. So let's just go ahead and send a sine wave out from here. And from here, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do like, a gray one to the left and a red one to right. Doesn't matter. And bring it up a little bit. So we can hear that there's a sine wave coming out. Let's do triangle wave. And let's just try out all of these. Sawtooth is always like super bright. Square wave, cool. Uh, so this VCO, this voltage controlled oscillator is generating four different types of waves. Let's just keep it on sign for now. Uh, and we have some other controls here, like um, so we can manually change the frequency by default. Most, uh, most operators that have a, a voice are tuned to a C4. So 261.63 Hertz is a middle C note. And we can change that manually. Uh, and then if you kind of change any of these things by default, if you double click, it kind of snaps back to whatever its uh, default value was. Uh, so before going going into like what all of these different things mean, let's just start to kind of string together things. So so this is where our actually sound our sound is. Uh, I could change uh, change the frequency manually, or I could input something into this uh, V oct uh, input. So this stands for one volt per octave. Um, so if I bring in, let's say, this MIDI to CV, um, what I'll do here is computer keyboard, just QWERTY, okay. So I just have normal uh, keyboard, a QWERTY keyboard for my computer right here. Um, and let me hook this up to a scope. And let me bring that in. And so when we do that, bring time down a little bit, there we go. So I can kind of say I'm hitting the Q, W, E, R, T. So we can see there's different values coming in there. Z, X, C, V. Um, so different voltage values coming out of this. So this, this scope, uh, usually by default, it's so zero volts is in the middle, five volts is this next line, 10 volts is the top part, and then negative five volts, negative 10 volts. This is how this kind of works. Uh, so what one V per octave, one volt per octave, what that means is the difference of, let's say like a middle C to the C an octave above that would be a difference in, in one volt. Uh, and then if we, let's see, so there's 12 notes within 
a typical scale. We've got like C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, so on and so forth. Uh, so, so if we divide one by 12, so it's basically 0 0.0833 volts would be the difference between each note, uh, like a C to a C sharp or C sharp to a D. Um, and for here, we can't quite see the numbers, but we can see that that voltage value is, is changing. Actually, like kind of up here, we can we can see that value, 0.83, just like that. Okay, what if we plug that into V per octave? Uh, so I can like drag this. I could, you know, drag another thing here. Uh, if there's something already here, if I just click on it, it's going to take it away. If I hold uh, Command, it's going to give me another one. Uh, by default, you'll notice as you just kind of keep clicking. The, the colors of the patch cables are going to change. Uh, that's what I'm using palette here for. So here I can just hit like the number one to get yellow. If I hit five, let's say, that gives me this green. If I hit seven, it gives me this blue. Uh, so it's just kind of a, a quick way that I'm, I'm using to get a certain color. I tend to use a yellow cable for um, V-Oct signals. Okay, so now I got that. Now let's find out what's happening here. So I'm just hitting the different keys on my keyboard, like Q, W, E, R, T, Y. So I'm getting different notes with that. Okay, cool. Um, let's string together something else. What if I did like a saw wave here? All right, let's do it like this instead of ending like that. Uh, actually, I'll do a saw. I'll go into this VCF, which is a voltage uh, controlled filter. Um, so just like the audio filters we've used before in, in Touch Designer. And from here, I will go out. I tend to use uh, you know, the gray and the red when I'm kind of finally going out to the, to the audio. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I use orange for just audio signals passed in between. So let's hear it. So what's happening here is the, the really, really, really bright saw sound. So normally we just hear it kind of like, like this. Super bright. Um, that's going to this filter. It's going through this low pass filter. And whatever, I'll just use both gray, it doesn't matter. Uh, so it is cutting off that frequency according to my uh, cutoff knob right here. So let's say like 428, that means it's cutting off anything higher than that and it's keeping anything lower than that, uh, which is why it sounds so dark now. And then the resonance uh, will kind of add a little, a little sharp peak at that cutoff. Drive will kind of just push everything up or down. So it's similar to just a well, like a gain or a volume knob. Uh, and then high pass will do the opposite. Ouch. Ouchy, ouchy. Uh, so high pass will only allow the things above the cutoff. So if I did something like that, let's see how that sounds. All right, so super high. Uh, and then if I did that low, it's going to let more things through. So that's more of the closer to the, the raw saw uh, wave there. OK, so uh, we string it from oscillator to a filter. Um, this is like really boring right now. There's no dynamics. Um, it's all just like a flat drone. Uh, so we can do something like add an attack, decay, sustain, release envelope. So let's do that. Let's go from low pass. I'm going to go into this uh, VCA, which is Voltage Controlled Amplifier. So what ADSR is going to do is, let's get a, a little peak here. Uh, sent from envelope. I 
I can trigger that right here. So I'm just triggering this uh, manually right now. Uh, so attack, how long does it take to go from zero to its maximum volume? Um, decay, how long does it take to go from that peak down to the sustained plateau? So sustained plateau would be um, how, how loud from its peak down to zero, like how loud is that plateau? Uh, and then as I keep holding that, it's gonna stay at the sustained level. So we can see that over here in the scope. <clears throat> and then when I release, it goes through our release stage and uh, this tells us how long does it take to get back to zero. Uh, so by tweaking this envelope, uh, we get really distinct sounds. So let's do like, if sustain is down, attack is really low. This is gonna be a really kind of a blink type of sound. So I'm sending this envelope out. We can see that in the scope right now. I want to send this envelope out to my VCA, which will control basically the uh, the gain of the sound coming from the filter. So let's do that. I'm going to hit 7 to get the blue one because uh, I tend to use blue for uh, control voltage, which is what this is. And let's just do out to here, bring that up. So right now the, the uh, ADSR is outputting just zero. We can see that right here. Uh, as I push it, it's gonna go uh, up, which will allow the sound to come through here. There we go. So if attack is much longer, So we can hear that difference between like a really quick attack and a slower one. Uh, what if sustain was up higher? Maybe that's shorter. So I'm not uh, I'm not playing any new notes. It's still just getting whatever the last V oct it received here um, from what I played. So I can like change that around right here if I want. Uh, and then I can, instead of pushing this manually, this is expecting a gate input. Um, so from my keyboard here, I could also just output this gate, which I'll use this little purple thing here. So whenever I press a key down, uh, this will light up. more percussive. Okay, uh, so that is a super basic system of just showing how uh, we throw some modules on and we connect them together with these patch cables. Uh, control voltage, kind of opening up this amplifier to allow the signal through uh, and then out to the audio card.